it's so hard to imagine what all of this looked like 25 years ago, 1989. This was still um, a lot of these houses and a lot of these streets were uh, like that one you see right there. Uh, a lot of slatternly houses, uh, unpainted, unstuckered, falling down, lived in by old black families. And that's where all the whorehouses were, and that's where all the, uh, the guys came. As a matter of fact, it's gone now. But uh, over here, there was a woman who uh, kept her friend, or kept her brother, and his name was No Money. We called him No Money because he used to hang out in front of Fabian's liquor store over there. And uh, he'd sit out in front from about 9 o'clock in the morning till dusk. And he just ramble. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money by no four car. No, I ain't got no money by no four car. Hey, hey, give me some money. I ain't got no money by no four car. So, of course, earning the name, no money. Of course, all of them were completely bought out in the next 20 years. Um, probably the hardest part of all this has been... Um, Number one, in the mid-90s, mid to late 90s, they started cracking down on uh, taking large groups outside these zones. And it got so ridiculous that I'm not making this up. I got a $400 ticket. I had to go to court. I got a $400 ticket for being on the wrong, wrong side of the street. I said, well, you know, I said, I said, um, here's Fulton Street over here. There's a, there's a great story. People, a lot of people, and certainly nobody from off knows this. But that red building right there is a big brick club. And has been the big brick club since the year 1800. Now, think about the big brick club. What really stands out is that the big brick club was the only building in the state of South Carolina to have been built as a house of ill repute. And here it stands proudly today. Um, 